Hello, hello, Jen. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, Pam. How are you? Good. I'm really excited to meet with you today to talk a bit about uh, your book, Peacekeepers. Um, I just want to start out by saying that uh, I was able to uh, take this book and share it with some teachers in Eastern Ontario. And uh, they used it in a grade 12 leadership and mentoring class. And they found that it was an amazing resource that had all kinds of information about restorative practices and your templates were excellent. And then I, as a follow-up, I did a focus group with some students who were really um, excited and inspired by the course and the training. And they just, they said they just wanted more training because they learned so much. And one of the students said that they were able to take it out to the soccer pitch where um, they worked with their coach and resolving some of the challenges around the girls uh, soccer team. So, so thank you for um, creating this book. And I'm really looking forward to you sharing some of your experiences with us. So the first question I was going to ask you is what's happening? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your, uh, your book and uh, what's happening out there in the field? First of all, I absolutely love hearing how my book is being used. Uh, and knowing that it's being successful outside of the United States is just wonderful. Um, right now, I am supporting schools on different levels. Um, I hear sometimes that districts will buy a copy for every single staff member um, in their buildings so that they're able to help kids find a voice with the tools that are inside. So that's really an exciting piece that I didn't necessarily anticipate happening. Um, I also am running my uh, trainings with students. Uh, I have a proactive training and a responsive training that get married together uh, and implementing it into um, a high school recently and in your nearby state. I'm from Pennsylvania and uh, I was able to travel to um, New Jersey to work with two high schools where I worked with the adults that supported their clubs in the high schools, their advisors of their clubs. Uh, so it was a cross section of a lot of different student representation in the building and taught them about the curriculum before I met with their school, their students the next day. And um, one of the things that was really fun was that we put the assistant principal in the middle of the fishbowl problem solving circle and had the students come to the center with ideas on how they wanted to have their voices heard. So it's just such an, a powerful um, piece that can come out of giving students these skills. Um, it, in elementary settings, I'm helping students on the playground having conversations or bus safeties. You know, what, what are they going to do when they have a student that is not following the rules um, or expectations of the bus and they are put in a position of, of redirecting them or whatnot. So these, these pieces of the language of the affective questions, they can have tools at their fingertips, just like we do as adults. Great, thank you. And what are your uh, hopes for the future? My hopes for the future is, my hopes are to, to really expand my scope of influence. I would love to work with people um, in other countries like Canada to see what they're doing to implement this um, and writing it with the lens of what I know as an educator of the middle levels. Um, fifth through eighth grade. And as a school counselor, I want to see and support the implementation of the book and the curriculum on different ways. Uh, and I want to offer the support too. You know, a lot of people are doing things. I give them the, the uh, reproducibles and their links to the forms and such in the, in the manual. But I also would love to go on site and support people shoulder to shoulder and see how they can go through and, and live out the social discipline window with people and walk the with. That's great. Thank you so much, Jen. You can see my background, my screensaver there. I hope you like that. And I also have a copy of um, the book that I 
uh, brought with me, but uh, how would people get a hold of this book if they'd like to purchase uh, Peacekeepers Empowering Youth Using Restorative Practices and Implementation Manual? So it's primarily on um, Amazon and the Canada link. I know there's been copies sold in Canada because I can see where they go. Uh, so that's probably the easiest way to do it internationally. Great. Thank you so much. And I hope we can stay connected and I uh, hope you get up to visit us in Canada sometime soon. We're, we're not too far away. That would be wonderful, Pam. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're welcome.